You know, with Four Star Homes selling over 2,000 homes a year, we're able to accumulate a lot of information. And folks, if you're looking for a cheaper lot rent here on the Florida's Treasure Coast, stick around for just a few moments. No, no, asphalt, come on, you gotta go. Get down there. Hi there everybody, it's Roy and Lily from Four Star Homes. And today we want to appeal to your to you more frugal buyers who are looking for a lot rent that's cheaper than a lot of them that you typically see here on Florida's Treasure Coast. Frugal, like people like you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, cool. you're, you're, let's, let's, no, wait, no. stop, stop a second. You're as frugal, let me ask you a question. <laughs> Watch this, these drapes behind us, how long did it take you to purchase those drapes? How long? I don't remember, it's very long. Very long time, right. <laughs> Folks, I've purchased cars faster than she's purchased these drapes. As a matter of fact, and you correct me if I'm wrong, you had a check with your friends here in America. Yes. Then you had a check with your friends in Europe. Yes. Okay. <laughs> then you had a check with fr friends and family in, in Russia too, am I right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so by the time I found out about it, 12% of the world's population knew about these drapes before I did. I'm surprised you didn't bring them up in front of the United Nations for a uh, proposal or something like that like that but anyway folks <laughs> uh, let's me please explain what <laughs> <laughs> um, I I did it because I look for a balance uh, between price and uh, quality quality okay <laughs> i don't think about price price price, price. <laughs> uh, i don't care how she puts it she's frugal all right so we're going to go ahead and take a look at nine different parks here but before i do so i just want to go over a couple caveats and a disclaimer on here um all of the information that i have on here may not be 100 percent accurate because obviously this is a changing market uh things change month to month week to week sometimes day by day so it's up to you to go ahead and do your due diligence okay if you find something you know in this video that you're interested in uh, number two I cannot attest to the quality of life in any of these parks you know some of them look like they're really wonderful they got swimming pools they got all kinds of different amenities but some other ones may be nothing more than a dirt road with a plastic swimming pool purchased from big lots for $25 I mean I don't know and I can't attest to the quality of the people in there and if you're not familiar with the trailer park boys Well, these might be some of your neighbors, okay? Uh, anyhow, all of these parks are parks that Four Star uh, Homes has done business with. And you know, if you find a home in any of these parks, look for the, uh, the listing agent because that agent would have absolutely more information, not just on the particular home that you're looking at, but would probably give you more information as far as the quality of life in that particular park. So with no further ado, let's get started on our list. So we're going to start our tour by going just slightly north of Daytona Beach to Holly Hill, Florida. We're going to be taking a quick look here at Holly Forest. This is a senior park, age 55 and older. Rents here range from about $580 to $650 a month. Uh, there were no rent codes, so I don't know if anything is included like sewer or water, but the average home price is about $38,000. There is an annual pass-through tax of $34. Uh, dogs are allowed uh, up to uh, 25 pounds with a deposit, and yes, they do have a website. Holy Forest is a gated community. They do have a swimming pool, a rec hall, bocce courts, clubhouse, bingo. They also have an RV storage area, which is pretty nice, plus much more. This appears to be a really nice park and certainly deserves to be checked out. Our next park is going to take us to Vero Beach, and this park advertises themselves as the only family park in Vero. And you know what? That's true. And that park would be Lakewood Village. Uh, yes, this is a family style park. The rents here range from $520 to $610 a month, which includes your lawn service. The downside here is that demand for homes and family parks like this one are high, but with only 378 sites available, homes in this park don't come up for sale very often. And when they do, they can actually be quite pricey. Dogs up to 20 inches in height are welcome. And yes, this particular park does have its own website. Being family oriented, this park has a new playground for the kids, a fitness center, a pool, bocce courts, clubhouse, and more. 
put this park on your watch list because you just never know when a bargain is going to come up. Moving on to our next park, we're going to be going to one of the best kept secrets in Florida and that's Melbourne. With only 30 sites available in this park, this makes this the smallest park on our list. Broadview Mobile Home Park is a no frills, no amenity style park, but you know what, that's okay. It is right on the beach and that alone has got to be worth something. With your lawn care, water and sewer and trash included in the rent, it actually makes this park quite a bargain. With only 30 homes available, there aren't many homes to sell and we don't have too many records. Two homes recently sold in this park for an average of $16,500 and at the time of this video there is one currently for sale at $40,000. I'll tell you what though, if buying a house here in Florida is something you have planned for the future, this is definitely a park you want to put on your watch list. The next park on our list is going to take us just slightly north at Melbourne and that's going to be Cocoa, Florida. Maplewood Village is actually open to individuals 50 and older. Rents here are approximately $500 a month and include your trash. The park does offer some amenities and that would include a uh, swimming pool, shuffleboard courts, bocce court, billiards, and uh, I guess they have a weekly bingo too. Our next park is also going to be located in Cocoa, Florida. Coco Estates is another park that's open to families. Rent here seems to be very cheap, ranging from $475 to $500, and that would include your lawn service and your trash. Uh, there's no pass-through taxes, and the average uh, home price in this park has been $26,400. Yes, they do allow pets up to 40 pounds, and yes, they do have their own website. One thing I wasn't able to find out about this park was a list of amenities, so I'm going to take it for granted that this is a bare bones type of a manufactured home park. Our next park is going to take us slightly more north to Daytona Beach. Aspen Terrace is a very small, privately owned park, catering to the 55 and older crowd. Lot rents here are about $450 a month and include your trash and your water and sewer. Average selling price of homes in this park runs about $32,000. Yes, your pets are welcome under 25 pounds. Again, in this price range, don't expect any type of amenities. However, it's still got to be better than shoveling snow in the wintertime. Our next park is going to take us back south to Canaveral, Florida. This business card is pretty much the website for Southgate Mobile Home Park located in Cape Canaveral, Florida. Uh, it is a senior park age 55 and over, but take a look at that rent, only about $410 a month, which also would include your trash, water, and sewer. Interesting to note though that the houses in this park are still doing an average of about $53,000. So it must have something going for it. I can't find any indication of any type of amenities for this park, but I'll tell you what, you got to have an absolutely awesome view of the rocket launches that happen quite frequently here now. I wish I had more to show you about this park, but hey, you asked for cheap, so here it is. Just south of Daytona Beach, you're going to find our next town, and that's going to be Titusville, Florida. Briarwood Mobile Home Park is a senior park for ages 55 and over. Unfortunately, I just don't have much to show you about this park because there really isn't anything available. But you know, at $375 a month, who cares? The best I was able to come up with was to show you a couple homes that just recently sold just to give you an idea of what the pricing is here. And rounding out our list and coming in at number one, we're going to be going to Mims, Florida. Pinewood Village is a community for seniors 55 and older, but take a look at that lot rent, $345 a month, which includes your trash, water, sewer, and your lawn. Let's break that down a little further. If you had to pay somebody to come cut your grass, pay your own trash, pay your own water and sewer, you're looking at paying an additional $100 a month. So if you subtracted that from the rent, you're actually paying about $245 a month to live here. Obviously, this is going to be your basic trailer park type of a community. However, if bare bones living is something that you desire at the cheapest possible price, well, I don't think you're going to get any cheaper than this park here. Okay, she's got to go. All right, this cat, she owns this sofa. We're just allowed to sit here every now and then. 
All right, honey, that's it. I think it's video. It's very interesting. You like because, that? Yeah, because yeah. different price, different house. So people can uh, have a choice. Absolutely. I mean, not everybody moving to Florida is interested in having a golf course in their backyard or several swimming pools. Some people just want to come down here, enjoy the sunshine, and guess what? I can appreciate that very much. Okay. A, a couple of things I want to tell you. You know, the list that I gave you. It, is not conclusive. I mean, I'm sure there's several other parks here on the Treasure Coast. If you know of any, please go ahead and put that information down in the comment section. We're always interested in what other people have to say. And, you know, if you're familiar with any of the parks that I brought up, if any of my information is inaccurate or you want to add something to it, you know, again, go ahead and leave a comment down there. And lastly, I just want to say, you know, Four Star Homes, we sell a lot of homes here in Central Florida going all the way down south. If there's any other area here in Florida that you're interested in taking a look at cheap lot rents, hey, you know, put that in the comments too. And definitely Definitely, Lily and I will consider doing another video uh, for different areas of Florida here. So, I'm done. Do you have anything you want to add? Or? I'm done, too. You're done, too. <laughs> All right, everybody. We look forward to seeing you on our next video. Uh, hopefully, we'll have some more listings coming up here very soon. Uh, until then, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.